Speaker number seven, Alan Reese Bevan. Across the chasm, Alan Reese Bevan. Mr. Toastmaster, ladies and gentlemen, Indiana Jones, obviously, <laughs> is poised at the precipice. Over there, on the other side, is the Holy Grail, his life ambition. In front of him is this yawning, deep darkness with no method of passage at all. All he knows is that he has to cross the chasm and lay his hands on the Holy Grail. Wow. Imagine what is going through his mind. Imagine the fear, the excitement, the terror, the sheer lust for success that must be coursing through his veins as he shivers in sheer anticipation. <laughs> Imagine him standing here thinking, huh, what the heck do I do now? Wow, what a situation to be in, to know that the very next thing you do could make or break you. It could kill or thrill you. Do the right thing, and Indiana Jones gets the Holy Grail. Do the wrong thing, and his hopes and his life are dashed on the inevitable jagged rocks below. Real people throughout history have been faced with the same question again and again. At destiny changing points in their lives, they have had to ask themselves, how do I cross the chasm? Probably not while looking for the Holy Grail, I'll admit. How do I cross the chasm between repression, apartheid, hatred, fear, ignorance, death, a life sentence in jail, and bringing to my country peace and freedom in South Africa, while becoming one of the world's greatest leaders, statesmen, and motivators, Nelson Mandela. How do I cross the chasm between trying and trying and trying again and again and again and failing a thousand times and literally lighting up the world? <laughs> Thomas Edison. How do I cross the chasm between, becoming, between being a public speaking chump and becoming a public speaking champ with my own show in Vegas, baby? <laughs> where we too have had to make those same choices and ask ourselves those same questions. How do I cross the chasm? How do I reach across and put my hands on the Holy Grail? I can see myself over there. I can see myself laying my hands on that Holy Grail, whatever it is. My next job. My next house. My sexy Porsche. My next Toastmaster speech. My own business, my fill in the blanks. I have to cross this chasm. And in order to do that, I need to know how to get to the other side. So, how do I cross the chasm between being a shy, sensitive young man and getting the girl of my dreams, Alan Reese Bevan? <laughs> Like Indiana Jones, this was a chasm I was desperate to cross. And to get to the other side, I needed to know what the next step was. And understand me, all chasms are terrifying. They are 
fraught with the one thing that scares us more than anything. And that is the unknown. 80% of people would turn around right now and go home, make themselves a nice warm cup of tea, wrap themselves up in a doona, and carry on dreaming. But for the 20% of us who would dare to dream and do and go for the grail, we have to cross that chasm and we need to know what the essential next step is. So let's see what Indy did. Indiana Jones, filled with self-belief, determination, and a bucket load of faith, Indy did what the only thing that Indy knew to do. He took a step and landed on an invisible bridge that showed him the path to the other side of the chasm. <laughs> Across, and he laid his hands on the Holy Grail and he rejoiced because all his goals had been fulfilled. Folks, I don't know how to cross every chasm, but I do know this. No matter if your chasm is a thousandth of a meter or a thousand miles wide, if your chasm is an inch deep, or an eternity deep, you will never cross the chasm without taking that first step. So, did I get the girl? I know you're dying to ask. <laughs> Absolutely. I took the first step. I joined Toastmasters. <laughs> more outgoing, and at Toastmasters, I met and married a wonderful woman. And turns out she's not a bad public speaker either. <laughs> whatever your chasm, whatever your holy grail, you have to take that first step. Mr. Toastmasters.